Become a sponsor today by visiting patreon.com backslash psychology is. Much of this highlights to me the responsibility we have to manage ourselves in relationships and how how far that goes in helping establish uh, safety and and, there, and and then the logical extension of trust because mm-hmm. um, you can only trust a safe person. Exactly. You know, the, the, something else you mentioned too is that dysregulation is contagious. Mm-hmm. And I just thought that that's an important point, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it's absolutely true. And I think especially... Um, perhaps parents can relate to this and you use the example of when a child is dysregulated, how upsetting that is, how contagious that is, how much it just soaks into your system. Um, but then, you know, the thought that the opposite may also be true, that stability can resonate and be contagious Mm -hmm. is helpful to remember too, you know, and yeah. And this is really where like, you know, you know, going maybe archetypal a little bit, um, the divine masculine, right, is a really grounded, full presence. And so, again, that's part of why I wrote this for men and using the acronym STRONG is being not just physically strong, right, but really having that strong sense of groundedness in yourself, that, you know, ability to stand in your own power, um, without having power over or taking power from, but that just personal sense of empowerment that like, I am safe, I am stable, I am strong, I am self-regulated, I can express myself, I can set appropriate boundaries. You know, all of that stuff is also, you know, hopefully this is not like, oh shoot, another thing that men have to do or another thing that they're doing wrong. It's like, no, 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 this is about standing in your own power and really embracing the mature you know, iteration of the divine masculine. Mm. Amen to that. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's thought provoking. And it, it reminds me of um, a part in the book. I don't remember exactly which one it was related to, maybe respect, but yeah, respect, because you were talking about how everything you just described about the grounded masculine who is, um, well-regulated and stable within himself commands respect and therefore doesn't have to demand respect. I loved that part. And I think that's absolutely true. And I think I've come to believe that one of the, one of the differences in typical male and female psychology is that respect is a greater value, I think, on average for men, like we really, really need respect. And so do women, obviously. But this seems to be a central value upon which our well-being can kind of depend. Um, And so how do we get that respect? How do we earn that respect? And so this, I think, provides an answer to this very important question of how can I command, how can I experience being respected and one way you can experience it it is almost through force by demanding it but that's not the same as commanding respect by being such a respectable person exactly exactly and that's where i you know i always i love going back to you know like exactly what you said of you know this is something that is very crucial to men and it, it drives also a lot of the alpha male kind of you know labeling and framework of like wait who's the top dog like oh that person is you know and it's like really when you when you look at the research when you break it down the the most effective and respected leaders are not the ones yelling at everybody demanding everybody get in line and using dominance and force it's the ones that people deeply respect because they are in charge of themselves Mm -hmm. they are grounded they are gentle they are open and yet they are solid Right. Um, They provide a sense of direction because they are self-directed. They are self-mastered. Right. And again, it's not saying that it's just only men can embody that. But that energy in a leader is what kind of elicits a respect response. Yes. Anybody. And so well said. Grounded, gentle, open, 
solid. And a quality like gentle is not mm -hmm. typically associated with the concept of an alpha. Um, but yeah, you really kind of debunk that um, false idea of what an alpha male really looks like. Mm -hmm. And it's much more of what you just described. And probably every male has figured out how to spin it in their own head to make themselves think that they're the alpha. <laughs> I often, I remember one time I was at a dinner party and, um, you know, a lot of couples were there. It was a whole group of people talking and, and I was talking to a couple guys and they were both physically very big guys. Like one of them was a, a sumo wrestler. One of them was like a former division one water polo player. And, and this dynamic started occurring where, uh, guys were trading stories, you know, and I was just having this funny thought because, there, you know, there was a little bit of like one upmanship. And um, I think when you're around like physically very large men, it kind of brings up this sort of who's the alpha feeling. And there was definitely that feeling at the dinner table. And it it led me to think I would love for someone to create a comic or an image or a meme where you have like a bunch of men sitting around a table and there's a thought bubble around each one of their heads. And in that thought bubble for every man at that table, it says, I'm glad they know I'm the alpha. <laughs> yes. and I, I, I think that really speaks to that, like need to be respected. Mm -hmm. exactly. Right. And I, I, I totally, again, I'm, you know, I don't inhabit the male experience, but you know, in the work that I do, that absolutely resonates. It's like, do I matter? Does that, do, you know, because that's also kind of the hierarchy of, you know, the people at the bottom, they don't get noticed, right? They get cracked on, <laughs> right? And so being able to say like, huh, I'm glad everybody knows I'm the alpha. That to me says that like something I said mattered. Right. Something I did landed. Everybody like kind of gave me a look of like, hey, that's cool, man. Mm -hmm. You know? just really all about belonging and acceptance yeah. yeah right yeah and i agree that you know there's a there's a real need for that yes right yeah. and perhaps there's a way that every man can have that experience of being an alpha in a sense like a contextual alpha you know the alpha of his home or whatever it may be but but the, the essence of it like you're saying is that feeling that i matter I'm respected. I have influence. I mm -hmm. command respect. 